In this video, we will be making words. You need the letters you see on the screen in front of you for this activity. Press pause while you get them organized. Press play when you're ready to start. Let's double check you have the correct letters. You need three vowels, A, I, U, and you need five consonants, C, G, K, and Q. Before we start this activity, we're going to need to review a spelling rule. The spelling rule has to do with Q and U. And the rule is, Q and U, they stick like glue. If you start a word with Q, make sure you follow it with U. Let's try that again. Q and U, they stick like glue. If you start a word with Q, make sure you follow it with U. One more time. Q and U, they stick like glue. If you start a word with Q, make sure you follow it with U. Remember that, because you're going to need that information for today's activity. Have your letters in a workspace in front of you, and make sure you have room, like I do in the gray space, to move your letters around to make the words we're going to do today. We're going to start with a two-letter word. Make the word an. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. An. A, N, N. Unless I ask you to do so, always put your letters back. At any time, press pause to make your words and press play when you're ready to start again. Take the vowel away and leave the consonant N. Make the next two letter word in. I walked in from the rain. In. If. Mm. If you spelt it I N. Well done. Leave those letters at the front of you. We're going to go on to our three letter word, ink. There is ink in the pen. Ink. K can be made by C and K. This does not look right. Ink is spelled with a K. If you spelt it I N K, well done. Now see if you can use those three letters to make a new word. Try moving them around. That's not a word. That's not a word. If you figured out kin, you are correct. Kin is another word for family. These are my kin. K-I-N. Put the letters in front of you away and try our next three letter word, can. I have a can of beans. Can. K. An. Well, we know how to spell an. We made it already. K could be made with C or K. K does not look right this time. Can is spelled with a C. Can. Next, move your letters down. Our next three letter word is nag. My mom had to nag me to clean my room. N. A, G. If you spelt it N A G, well done. Put the letters away. Our last three letter word is gun. I have a water gun that I use in the summer. Gun, G, A, N. If it, you spelt it G U N, well done. Leave those letters in front of you to help you spell our first four letter word. Spell the word gunk. I have sleep gunk in my eye. Gunk. K can be made by two of the letters we have, C or K. That doesn't look right. Gunk is spelt with K. If you spelt it G-U-N-K, well done. Put your letters away. Now spell the word gain. We gain wisdom with age. Gain. G. A. N. That's not enough letters. You'll have to remember the rule. When two vowels go walking, the first one does all the talking. Gain, we only hear the first vowel. So, what other vowel might work with it? That does not look correct. 
that does gain. A-I-N works together to make the ain sound. Gain. Put your letters away. Make the four-letter word nick. I have a nick on my finger from the paper. Nick. N. I. K. K could be made by C or K in this word. And in fact, because there's four letters in this word, it gives you a clue that we need to use both C and K. Nick is another word for cut. Nick. Put your letters away. Our final four letter word is king. The king and queen sit on their thrones. King. K could be made by C or K. Ing. I. Ng is an ing sound. That doesn't not look correct. King is made with K. King. Now we're going to go on to five letter words. Put all your letters away. Remember that rule that we talked about? If you start a word with Q, make sure you follow it with U. You're going to need that now. Make the word quick. Quick. You can hear the ick sound. And just like Nick, it's made by I C K. Qua. Qua. Q and U work together to spell quick. Now make the word quack by changing only one letter. Quack. If you knew you had to change the I for an A, well done. Now we're ready for our last word before our mystery word. Put all the letters away. Make the word quaking. Quaking. The earth started quaking when there was an earthquake. Qua. Q and U. Q and U. Quake. Ing. Well, we know the k starts with one of those sounds. We can hear ing, like in king. And we only need seven letters. One, two, three, four, five, six. So is quaking made with a C or a K? That does not look correct. That does. Quaking is Q U A K. I N G. Now it's time to put all your letters back and we're going to move on to the mystery word. First clue, you need to use all of the letters. Second clue, it ends with ing. Third clue, it starts with qua. Fourth clue. This picture gives you a hint about the word. Let's see if you can spell it before I do. Clue one was I had to use all these letters. Clue two was ing, like in king. The next clue was qua. And I see this is a duck, so I think it's quack ing. If you figured that out before me, well done. Now it's time to press pause. Go get the piece of paper that you need to record your information on, and when you come back, press play, and we'll review the words you made. Today, you made two two-letter words, an, in. You made five three-letter words, ink, kin, can, nag, gun. You made four four-letter words. Gunk, gain, nick, king. You made two five-letter words. Quick, 
quack, and you made one five-letter word. That's right. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven-letter word, quaking. The mystery word used all your letters, eight letters, and it spelt quacking. Notice the difference, quaking and quacking. If I were to spell the word quake, it would be spelled Q-U-A-K-E. But I had to drop the E and add I-N-G. The word quacking, it didn't have to change the word quack at all. I simply had to add I-N-G. Thank you for making words with me today. See you next time.